Okay, guys, so I went down a rabbit hole today, a big rabbit hole, deep <laughs> rabbit hole, and I want to share it with you. Axon, you guys might know this, and you might think of it as a taser company, but I tell you what, there's a lot more going on with this business than I thought, and I, I probably should have already owned this stock before. I do not own this. I can tell you after doing my research here and my homework that I'm going to share with you that this is definitely on my watch list. And I'm gonna explain why. This is more of a software as a service monopoly within law enforcement. And they're doing some pretty cool things, continuously improving products. I'm gonna share this breakdown with you today. Do a little bit of a deep dive into Axon. You're gonna to wanna to see this one, guys. Stay tuned. Our story as a company really starts with the taser weapon. There are lots of colorful euphemisms for getting tased. Perhaps the most famous one is to ride the lightning. Okay, so before we move on, I wanna show you just all the different products these guys have, because I think it's important just to understand the scope. So you've got these product bundles and these product bundles, they create recurring revenue and I'll get more to that later. You've got these smart weapons, you've got body cams and you also have software. And this, this company really started out just doing tasers, but now they're this whole ecosystem from start to finish when you think of law enforcement. I'll show you what I mean more here in a second on a slide. So you've also got solutions. You've got law enforcement, federal corrections, you got commercial. Now I go back to products. What's interesting about this is that most of these products are going to be for law enforcement, but there's actually a civilian series. So if you don't want to own a firearm and you want to protect your home or family, you can actually get a civilian series taser from Axon, which I think is interesting. The solutions, you've got all these here. There's all these different industries training. So they're actually doing this VR training now. This is brand new. And I think there's recurring revenue with that as well. So that's pretty interesting. What I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go and I'm going to show you a slide deck from Axon and break down the business, help you understand a little bit more of what's going on under the hood. So this presentation is just from February of 2022. So it's fairly recent. Protect life, capture truth, accelerate justice. That's really their mission statement. And this part's really interesting. Set tasers to stun. So first of all, taser is a trademark of Axon Enterprises, which I actually didn't know until I started doing research on this. And if you look at this, taser devices were directly inspired by Captain Kirk's phaser from Star Trek. So at a very minimum, at least you learned that today. <laughs> so their mission is to protect life, you know, make the bullet obsolete. 262,000 lives saved from death or serious injury. It talks about ESG here. So leadership, this is really a good slide here. Axon leadership has generated a powerful financial profile. Now, if you look at this 2017, this is going to be in millions. This is 344 million and it's grown significantly. In 2021, $863 million in revenue. And you look at these compound annual growth rates. Talks So Axon Cloud is this bright yellow. The sensors and other is the light yellow and the gray is the tasers. So taser is their, their foundation, right? The product. But they have all these services and these subscription services recurring revenue built around that taser so you've got 437 for the taser 181 for sensors and other and then you've also got the axon cloud that's 245 we'll get more to that a little bit later 840,000 taser devices in place today globally 80% 2021 revenue from recurring bundles I was surprised so 80% of last year's revenue was from recurring bundles so bundles meaning they're selling you the taser as well as the software the solution the subscription model around that. Net dollar retention, you see that a lot when we talk about SaaS companies, 119%. Annual recurring software revenue, 327 million. These numbers might surprise you. 75% gross margin on their cloud and 21% adjusted EBITDA margin. Another good slide here, guys. So you see Axon 1.0, that's pre-2010. Just tasers, that's all they were doing. Now in 2010, they started doing the smart devices and workflow. You can see they're adding the body cameras, the Axon fleet. Now 2020, 20 and beyond there this is axon
packs on 3.0. They've got tasers, they've got the fleet, they've got dispatch, records, evidence, body cams, and they got the Axon Cloud in the middle. Okay, you've got my attention here, guys. You've got my attention. You probably should have had it sooner. Accelerate justice, capture truth, and protect life. This new mission statement, this whole new mission 3.0, 2020 and beyond, having that Axon Cloud in the middle, this definitely has my attention. Let's dig a little deeper. So let's talk about total addressable market. $52 billion on your screen here. Okay, so you got total TAM by market, by product, and by region. I'm not going to read through all that. You can pause the screen if you want and look through it. The big thing here, though, is $52 billion in TAM. That's a bigger number than I would have expected. Growth drivers, cloud-connected products and services. Okay, I'm liking this even more, guys. So taser devices, we know about that. Software, so you got digital evidence management, productivity, in real-time operations and the sensors you've got body cams you got fleet in-car cameras and the police squadron cars and you also have drones which is another interesting part of their business there's been some drama around that recently actually i'll talk more about that here later in the video in fact i don't want to forget so i'm going to cover it right now so you look at this they have an artificial intelligent ethics board a group of experts technology policing privacy etc nine members out of 12 in the panel announced that they would resign. Among the concerns of the systems that can be used in circumstances, this is talking about these drones and basically damage control. This is from the CEO. I want to be explicit. I announced a potential delivery date a few years out as an expression of what could be possible. It's not an actual launch timeline. He goes on. So what is this about? He's talking about these drones that could actually be used in these active situations where a drone could be stationed in school hallways and they can move into rooms through special vents with first responders operating the device from about 40 feet away. So there's some drama around this. It's just something to note, something to point out. I think drones is an interesting part of maybe their future business, but it's certainly not their focus by any means right now. So we love flywheels on Fired Up Wealth. If you have not subscribed, guys, subscribe to the channel, click that bell to get notifications, and if this video is helpful, drop a like and drop a comment. I also want to announce that this video is sponsored by The Motley Fool, and you can check out fool.com backslash Fired Up Wealth for the 10 best stocks to buy now. Moving along, so Axon Flywheel, build products and bundles that give our customers superpowers to ensure everyone gets home safe. This creates more users, AKA people, and nodes, AKA devices, on the Axon network. It then creates more data that we can unlock more value from machine learning and AI. Cool, machine learning and AI. Wasn't expecting to see that in the slide deck. We use that to create even more great products and bundles. You can see they've got the data and AI, products and bundles, superpowers, users, and nodes. Love it. I mean, there are some competitors in this space, guys, but this is as close as a monopoly that I know of. Expansion beyond public safety, new geographies. So you think of Europe, South America, etc. AR and VR could be a big part. So you think of empathy training delivered via Axon Cloud. I'll show you a video here in a second, too, that kind of shows you what that looks like. So growth driver VR training helps with unbiased and empathetic public safety. Now check this video on the left. This is really cool. So using virtual reality to train real life situations of how you would react. And so you're using these goggles, you're in this environment and they've got this mock taser set up where they can pull the trigger and try, try to basically live out the situation. I think this type of training is important. I think there should be more and more of this type of training not only in law enforcement, but probably outside of law enforcement. But I think this video is really cool, kind of shows you what the experience is like. And this is going to be a subscription-based model, kind of feeding into that recurring revenue for Axon. Anyway, I thought that was cool stuff. Wanted to share it with you guys. All right, another growth driver, cameras, transparency, and trust. So you've got these signal sidearms, you got fleet. So on the cop cars, on the squad cars, you got flex on the glasses here on this gentleman. You've got the different apps, you got the body cams attached right to your body. Body camera programs address a transparency and accountability problem. They create a giant data management and storage problem. Axon's camera plus software solution solves it all. We've got it all figured out for you guys. So I think this is brilliant. They're really capitalizing on this, this industry. And I think it's a it's a really it's an important industry and it's growing exponentially. I think there's a, I'll show you some total addressable market here and penetration rates. There's a lot of room for this company to grow. We see this narrative a lot. You think of legacy, fragmented point solutions. You've got slow manual reactive. Now Axon, they're trying to make this cloud-based integrated software platform efficient and cost-effective, simple and consumer-grade UI, AI-driven proactive public safety. And this is showing a policeman using a body cam 
pulling up a driver's license and scanning that data right there and saying, you know, if, if there's something going on with the person and the individual based on the record. So they've got records management. They've got all kinds of stuff going on here, much more than just tasers. Another growth driver, real-time operations transforms communications beyond radios. So integrated public safety suite, right? Real-time view of officer presence and devices. You've got real-time live streaming, GPS-enabled heat maps, really cool stuff. I think there's a lot that they can do and continue to expand on. The role of acts on strategic growth areas during public safety incident. This is showing you from the timeline from A to Z. So citizen captured evidence. The software makes it easy to capture digital evidence, including CCTV. My wife was actually just on jury duty and they used this. This is actually why I became interested in the stock and they used the evidence off these body cams. And I can't really say much more than that, but this is what got me interested in, in doing more research in this stock. So 911 signal alerts and dispatch. Dispatch solution enables officers to arrive knowing critical information. A taser device may or may not be deployed when responding to an incident. If deployed, all use of force is logged in evidence.com. So evidence.com in real-time alerts and sent back to dispatch and command. The body cameras and fleet cameras capture video ev evidence. So you've got body cameras, you've got cameras on the squad cars, also stored in evidence.com. This is all proprietary part of the Axon suite. Live streaming provides real-time situational awareness back to dispatch and command. The records incorporates video into the incident log and uses artificial intelligence to save officers time. All use of force is tracked using Axon standard software. Incident data and post-arrest interview video are used and viewed by prosecutors. This is what my wife used in court, defense attorneys, media, the community, and the public. And you see justice system here. It's basically this whole life cycle. I think this really paints a picture well. They're trying to be involved. It used to be just the tasers. And now they want to be involved with this entire ecosystem from A to Z. All right, let's look at some financials. Let's go deeper into the stock here. Powerful long-term growth engine, strong growth and profitability at scale, early innings of global expansion. We'll show you some more here in a second. High visibility with significant revenue from recurring bundles. This is big. Strategic R&D or research and development driving to 70% target gross margins. So they wanna increase those gross margins. Strong cash generation and abundant operating flexibility. So check out the growth in this, guys. You might be surprised. Revenue in millions, so strong growth and scaling profitability from 2017 to 2021, 344 million to 863 million. Adjusted EBITDA, you can see this percentage of margin, 12%. It was actually higher in 2020, 23%. They spent more on R&D here in 2021. It's dipped to 21%. They're trying to improve that number. High visibility with significant revenue from recurring, so look at this, SaaS annual recurring revenue. Okay, 2017, this was 70 million, now it's 327 million in Q4 of 2021. That's 47% compound annual growth rate. Total revenue tied to the subscription bundles, look on your right-hand side. So from 2017, it was only 46%. Last year in 2021, 80% of total revenue, percentage of total revenue is tied to prescription, subscription bundles. Now, be clear that it's, that does not mean 80% is subscription, it's tied to bundles. Bundles, meaning they're selling you the taser as well as all the software and bundles around that taser. I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. Strategic R&D driving to 70% gross margins and robust operating leverage. So you can see you've got drones, AR, VR, records, real time. They're spending money on R&D and that's good. Sustaining R&D with their taser devices, making new devices, upgrading their cameras for, for fleet, for body cams. Then you got new customers. So consumers could actually be part of that. More in the enterprise, federal, and so on. Commitment to drive leverage. Taser, gross margin, 2021, 66%. They want to get that to 70% in their long-term model. Software and sensors, 60% gross margin. They want to get that again to 70%. And then Axon Consolidated, they want to take that 21%. They want to take that adjusted EBITDA margin from 21% in 2021 and build that out long-term to 30%. So check this out. There's, here's their path. By 2030, the taser will make the bullet obsolete. AI will eliminate paperwork. Cloud and internet of things will transform communications and Axon will reimagine public safety. Key considerations, powerful platform, revolutionizing public safety and creating societal value. High growth subscription revenue model with a track record of significant operating leverage. $52 billion market opportunity, AI-based solution, management proven. I want to show you, here's the management here. Pretty solid. 
Um, so you've got some directors here. You've got directors, chairman of the board. You've got the uh, AI and policing technology ethics board. Kind of look through that on your own. This is what I want to focus on here. So 2020 to 2021, TAM walk up from 27 billion to 52 billion. You can pause the screen and look at this. It's really interesting by region, market, and product. Okay. Penetration rate. This is money right here. This is the total addressable market TAM penetration rate by product category and region. Okay make my camera a little bit smaller so you can see the whole screen. So Taser in the US, 21%, Commonwealth, 14%. Europe is less than 5%, Latin America, Asia, Middle East, and Africa, they haven't even touched the surface. Body cams, only 12% in the US. You can see these numbers are pretty low. Fleet, only less than 5% in the US. Axon Cloud SaaS, less than 2%. Of course, they're always gonna paint the picture as rosy as they can. They're gonna sugarcoat it the best they can, but th these are legitimate numbers. The penetration rates, aren't that high and there's a lot of total addressable market to chase for this company. Okay, this slide is absolute money. Officer safety plan. So this is a seven plus year premium integrated bundle. So it shows you customer payment and cash flow equals $249 per officer per month over five years plus program startup fee. This is very, very illustrative, okay? So the yellow is the Axon Cloud software. That's annual recurring revenue subscription base. This gray is gonna be taser cartridges and training revenue. So you got camera and VR hardware revenue is gonna be the blue and you can kind of see up here. So in year one, okay, there's gonna be a chunk of that for the annual recurring revenue for the software and that's gonna be standard across year one to year 10. Okay, and the gray, you've got the cartridges, that's gonna be higher in the first year, probably with training everything and it's gonna kind of fall, fall off. Year six, it kind of pops up again. You've got the uh, Taser hardware revenue up here, okay? You can see that that's gonna be year one and year six. And you got the blue, that's gonna be camera and VR hardware revenue, that's year one, three, five, so it looks like every couple of years. It's kind of an interesting model, but it shows you just how much money. So in year one, this is about $5,000. Year two, they're still getting, you know, two to 3,000, or two, 2,000 to 2,500, looks like 2,250. Year three, 3,000 and so on. But this is a recurring revenue bundle. It's not exactly the same as software as a service, like you go buy Datadog, where it's gonna be the exact same. It's gonna have some variation. This model here, paints a picture of what that looks like exactly for us. Okay, this is the last slide I wanna show you. Then I'm gonna go into, look at Fidelity, look at some valuations, the PE. Then I'm gonna look at a chart. I'm gonna tell you if I think this is a buy or not and kind of what level I might buy it at. I already told you I think it's a buy, but what price? <laughs> So you can pause this if you want. It shows all the different bundles, a lot, a lot of information here. So your taser bundles on the left, the camera bundles in the middle, and on, on the right hand, it's the entire bundle with the taser, the camera, and the software. Let's take a look at Fidelity, see what the P ratio is, what the stock is doing. Okay, so ticker is this AXON. This is a $7.39 billion market cap, so not huge, especially when you look at some of that total addressable market. It's trading at a 200.13 P ratio, so it is expensive, but probably for good reason, especially with the recurring revenue, and I think this is a little bit harder. This is harder to, to put a value on because it's not just a hardware company and it's not a true SaaS company, but it has a component of both, and those are always a little bit tricky. It's trading at about $105 a share. Now, this got down to $82.49 on May 12th, that was probably a pretty nice buy. It's bounced over 20% since then. The high on this, like most stocks, November 2021, on the 16th, it was $209. So it is still down about 50% from its highs. Let me show you a couple more valuation metrics here. So this real quick, guys, this is Seeking Alpha written by Alpine Capital. And looking at the PE ratio here, 51.96. Okay, let's go looking at a forward ratio. The TTM price of sale is 7.21. It shows you some of the competitors that he thinks compete in this space over here. So there are some competitors that you can look up. TTM priced cash flow, 64.87. Okay, so this is gonna be the most expensive, but I'd say probably with good reason because this is the market leader and they have a lot more of their revenue tied to those subscription bundles. But I wanted to at least show you this to give you an idea of some of the other valuation metrics that you could use. Another Seeking Alpha article here, Alpha Compounder. So on valuation, talking about Axon will grow at 18.8% over the next five years based on EPS next five year growth from Finviz. So it tapers in growth by half. It looks like some of the growth might start to slow down that compound annual growth rate. So it is important to note that. Now he has the final intrinsic value per share at $78.19. What's actually interesting about that is it got pretty close to that price around 80 
$90 here at the lows in May. Let's look at a chart here and see where the stock might go. If you guys like technical analysis, we do chart day every Wednesday, in Patreon, Discord, check out Patreon. You go to patreon.com backslash fired up wealth and check out the different tiers, join elite or above. And you can join us every Wednesday live for chart day. We just finished that a couple of hours ago. So this one's trading about $103.84 now it looks like it might be down slightly on the day uh, it did bottom out you can see around 82 dollars here in 49 cents okay so that's kind of the short-term floor that we've seen the bottom and what we don't know is if it's going to go back to there or not it looks like it's it's bounced nicely of course off of that the r1 here is going to be about 115 dollars it's still below the moving averages i think if you can get this stock below 100 dollars in dollar cost average it's probably a, a pretty decent buy that 80 to 100 dollar range but you might not get it. You know, on Friday, we're gonna get CPI data. The market could roll over and you might get an opportunity on some of these stocks or the market could rip higher. If you look at the technicals on this, it's pretty bullish. It looks like it's bottomed and it's probably gonna to continue to climb higher and you probably missed the opportunity here. Now, some people are in the camp that we're gonna go into this long-term secular bear market. And so who knows, you could see $65 a share. But at least what I will say is this, it was $212 back in February, 2021. It was $209 in November of 2021. This is a double top. And I would say it's getting pretty close to washed. If you actually draw this line, so this line isn't perfectly straight, but if you go from that low and go all the way back, this takes you now the March 2020 lows, the COVID lows were $50. That was a heck of a buy. But this is taking you all the way back to lower than the, the pre-pandemic high. So it was $90 before the whole COVID pandemic and it cut its value almost in half. So you could argue that if you can get this thing for $90 or less, you're you know taking two years <laughs> of growth out of the equation. But we know it's still a 200 P ratio, but you have to look at that recurring revenue and give it a premium value as well. I certainly could spend a lot more time in this stock. I think it's a good one. I think it's one that you should keep on your radar. If this video is helpful, please make sure to drop a comment, drop me a like. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe, click that bell to get notifications. I appreciate your time and attention. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.